my name is Lisa Kuhn. Right now, I am at Tech.Fest, and we talked on Friday, and you asked, what am I doing right now? What have I been doing? And I said, oh, it's way too complicated to explain, and it has nothing to do with documentaries whatsoever. We're here for the enjoyment and for information. But I decided I was going to bring information to you. And what we are doing, and this is a bunch of people in neighborhoods, we are questioning the proposed rezoning that the city of Seattle is going to do now. Uh, everybody's been seeing all of the apartments and townhouses that have been going up. It's, you know, all right, we're getting more density, fine. But at this point, and this is what I've got information on, these are articles from the Seattle Times. And then, yeah, you've got the first one there. And the bottom line, is that now this was the Seattle Times in December we're already starting to reach a saturation of the apartment market and so we already have lots of apartments and people are getting to the point where hey they're kind of opening up the rents aren't going down yet but they're starting to really level off and they're talking about incentives to get people to rent apartments and Here's the second article. Apartment boom getting ready to explode. Oh, do oh, you want to kind of do this? This is all available at, at the Seattle Times, uh, uh, their website. And they show where they're going. But the important part of this article is telling that, and that's right here, that almost 10,000 new apartments are set to open this year and 12,000 plus next year in what is already becoming a saturated market. So the question becomes, why do we need to rezone all sorts of single family housing as ours is being upgraded three times to an LR2? zoning which means a four a four story apartments in an area of a hundred houses and that is just one little chunk of west seattle that they're talking about doing that too and they're using this lovely smoke screen called hala which is a, the housing affordability something or other and so the mayor came out about oh i'd say 18 months ago and said, if you aren't in favor of Paula, you're a racist. And everybody got worked up. And he, at the same time, said, and I'm going to completely destroy all single family zoning throughout the city. And everybody went berserk and he said, oh, that's okay, I'll just do it to 6% of the city. Well, okay, so now we have saturation. So why are we doing this? And then we get. I've got a couple of articles here by uh, Danny Westneed, who is a columnist for the Seattle Times, where he says, city plays deflecting blame game, and he's talking about the fact that the city did nothing about low-income housing so when all of this started. So if people want to get a hold of somebody that they can voice their opinion and maybe start communicating with each other, who would they talk to? Well, that's the whole thing. There isn't anybody because the mayor has actually disbanded the neighborhood's councils. He just did that uh, about a month ago, and that's where you could have actually gone and talked to people. And so this reporter... And this is a, a second reporter, Brian Dudley, and he's the one that really kind of pulls everything together and brought up the Blackstone Group, which is a national hedge fund group, and they are the ones I believe causing the real trouble because and this is an and it's good that there are articles about this this is an article in the Wall Street Journal this is not the Seattle Times it's the Wall Street Journal December 7th of last year on page a1 
of the Wall Street of Journal. Of the Wall Street Journal, and what they are attempting to do is buy as many houses as possible, as cheaply as possible, and turn them into rentals. And they've been doing this since the recession. They started in the recession, and of course picked up huge numbers of houses. And in this article, the Wall Street Journal is questioning right there, how can they keep this up without having cheap houses? Well, the way you create cheap houses is you rezone a single family housing area, and then the people who live there, those houses are actually non-compliant use. You can't sell to other families, You can, and the small uh, developers are going to go out. Blackstone is going to be the only people we can sell to, and they're going to do it at rock bottom prices. And so, this is a very interesting comment. Oh, yeah, it's a very interesting topic, and, and that's what film festivals are for. They're exactly. for different people to communicate with each other. Yeah, and I didn't have any intention of doing that here. But it's a good thing, and it's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So thank you for being on a public interest issue show. And thanks for attending the film festival. Why, thank you. And thanks for always attending Stiff Film Festival. You're the number one fan of the Stiff thank Film you. Festival. Yes. So thank you very much. I, oh. I, I so appreciate this. Thank you very I, much. I have no idea how much I appreciate this. Thanks for doing it.